In this video, we're going to be using the search function on iNaturalist to see in real time what kind of bugs are being found in New York. And I gotta say, going through all these pictures, I was actually surprised to see some of the species that we had. I didn't even know we had them in New York, so we got a lot of cool stuff coming up, so let's get started. So as we go throughout the video, we'll definitely stop and take a look at some of these smaller, less appreciated species. But for our first find, we're going to look at a large species, the Cacropia moth. And this is actually the largest moth that we have here. And I, uh, I've looked for these before, but I still have yet to see one. So, great find by Mike Gooley. And by the way, most of these are from 2023, but I'm going to mix up the dates to keep things interesting. Our next find is super cool, the bronze ground beetle. Now, I have never even heard of this thing, but look at the colors on it. Absolutely cool. And I didn't even know we had these in New York. Apparently the larvae eat slugs, which is kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled for these. Nice find by Bill Mikulak. I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, moving on. We got this uh, some type of webworm moth. But uh, this is what I was talking about, those smaller species that I think a lot of us forget about. Next up, we have a jagged ambush bug. And this is one of those species that I, I haven't even heard of and I've never seen before. Here's a couple uh, additional images, but... Yeah, I'm going to have to keep a lookout for these because I've never even heard of them. So moving on, our next find is this Rattler Roundwing Katydid. And despite the fact that it looks like a regular Katydid, basically, uh, they actually are a pretty uncommon species. So great find by PKT. Moving on, we have this Spiny Oak Slug Moth. Another smaller species, but very cool colors. And speaking of smaller moths, check this one out. The Pearly Wood Nymph. Classic moth, uh, also known as the bird poop moth. <laughs> Very cool. So we're working our way through these pages here. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Here's a good one. This Blatchley walking stick uh, from Steve M. These are actually a pretty rare species. You don't, really, uh, you don't really see those too often. Next up, though, we have another walking stick. Actually, this is a double find, a male and female uh, northern walking stick. When you get to see these up close, the detail on them is just crazy. Yeah, I think I've only seen two northern walking sticks, so definitely want to find some more of these. Our next find is one of the coolest crickets that we have here in the States, the Blackhorn Tree Cricket. And I definitely want to find one of these this year. I still have yet to see one. And here we have a Chinese mantis. Those are always cool to see. Now this next one I'm going to show you. Uh, is again one of those species that I had no idea that we had here in New York. I mean, I've seen a few weevils, but I haven't seen any that look like this. Also, if you keep seeing repeating names under the people's photos, it's because I have the uh, search filter set to copyright free photos, uh, so we don't got to worry about any of that. And next up, we have a reddish brown stag beetle, probably one of the cooler beetles in uh, New York. Always cool to see those. And we also have a small eyed sphinx moth over somewhere named Dadville. It's a strange name. Anyway, moving on, we have a stone centipede, a lithobia or lithobius centipede. And this is a video I took of one uh, last year. But anyway, for our next find, we have a Northeastern Pine Sawyer, uh, one of the few cool longhorn beetles that we get here. And next we have this Eastern Eyed Click Beetle which uh, again is one of those species that I didn't even know that we had in New York. So I'll uh, definitely have to keep my eyes peeled for these uh, this coming season. So let's take a look at the spiders. Uh, I had the search filter set to just insects, but um, take a look at some spiders. Here we have a pretty cool cool photo of a uh, crab spider having some, uh, having some lunch. And here's one that I saw last year. Haven't seen any green crab spiders though. Another really cool spider that I didn't know we had here is this, uh, these uh, ant mimic spiders. I think they're jumping spiders, but um, yeah, very cool. And this here is the vulnerable status northern bush katydid. And it's also a double find. They got a little tiny guy over on the side there. The tiny guy, speaking of which, is the, uh, the oak bush cricket, which is actually a type of uh, silent katydid. Instead of making sounds, they uh, drum with their feet, basically. And here we have another double find, another double Katie did find. And they say they owe it to luck and clean gardening. So there you have it. And here we have yet another Katie did find, a uh, great find. This is the Greater Anglewing Katie did, which uh, definitely right up there 
Well, that was some of my favorites. The leaf-like detail they have is uh, second to none, in my opinion. So, moving on, we have this Spicebush Swallowtail Caterpillar. Basically the real-life Caterpie. And here's what the adult looks like. And here we have some more additional photos. Very cool. So, uh, I went all the way to page 25. I believe that's where I stopped. But uh, we do got a couple more that I'll show you real quick here. One of which being this Locust Borer Beetle. And this is yet another species that I haven't heard of before. But uh, yeah, very cool looking. I'm definitely, definitely going to have to keep an eye out for these. And moving on to our next find, we have this Antelope Beetle. Um, I'm not too knowledgeable on beetles, but I would guess it's probably one of our only, if not the only, Dorcas species that we have. I'm not sure. But anyway, here's a uh, <laughs> very cool photo of this wingless mountain grasshopper. And they do appear to be indeed wingless. But, in any event, awesome photo. Dare I say cute. And moving on, our final photo that I'm going to feature. And as you can see, this is not a bug photo, but uh, this is yet another awesome picture from PKT. And uh, yeah, figured we'd uh, end the video in that way. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you want me to do more videos like this, just let me know. Otherwise, I got more interesting insect content. I'll be putting it out all year. So uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.